Hey everybody, it's Paula here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at another free tool that you can use to do your own research. And this time, the tool we're gonna to look at is gonna allow you to look at some of the fundamental business operations and models of the projects that you might be looking at researching. So we're going to look today at Token Terminal and what we're going to look at, you don't even need to log in to have a look at. So I'm going to go straight to our free dashboard. Now, when we go in here, we are on the home tab. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the earnings leaderboard. So we go in here and we can see a leaderboard of earnings and we can change this to different time frames. It's currently on 30 days. Now, this is for sound business because at the end of a day, a protocol or anything else, they need to monetize and they need to be profitable. So let's have a look at the information we have here. First of all, we've got the protocol. So we have the fees. So this is the monthly fees. So the total fees in the last 30 days. Revenue is the fees that are paid to the token holders. Token incentives is the US dollar value of the tokens that have been distributed to incentivize users in the last 30 days. And then this gives us the earnings, which is the revenue minus the token incentives. So it means basically if the number is negative, that the project spends more on issuing tokens then it's earning in revenue. And that is a problem with many tokenomic models that are out there. So let's take a deeper dive now into this. So we can see Ethereum has earnings of 5.5 million at the end of the 30 days. OpenSea, 7 million. And then we can see lots of these are in negative. Binance Smart Chain is a negative. Pancake Swap is in negative. Bitcoin is also in negative. Now, Bitcoin being a negative, it's not showing. All the new rewards are go directly to the miners. So that's kind of, even though it's shown negative earnings, it's a different type of protocol altogether. And the value is more in the scarcity. But in Convex, it's positive. We see Aave is negative. Now, the likes of PancakeSwap, you do have to do your own research on these because when PancakeSwap started, there wasn't a cap on the tokens. And I know now that there is a cap on the tokens and that the distribution is going to tether off and that this may eventually come more into line. Let's just click into one of these. So I'm going to click into Uniswap. And when we click into one of them, we get more detailed about the protocol that we've selected. So in here, we see the change. We also see the all-time high and the all-time low. Then we see all the other information as well. Total value locked, fully diluted, the fees, the fees annualized, the active developers, which is very interesting as well, and the daily active users, which is also a good metric to be checking when you're looking for adoption and stuff like that. Now you can scroll down and you can pick other metrics as well. We've got fully diluted market cap and fees. We could add in trading volume if we wanted to look at trading volume. So let us just go back to home there now for a second. And in home, what we have is some fundamentals. This first one here is revenue and we can change it to dApps or blockchains, but we can see them all listed here. And we've seen these figures earlier on in the leaderboard. The weekly gainers by total value locked, gainers by fees, gainers by price to fees, the PF ratio. Then we also have a data table and we can break this down and we can customize the table as we wish to customize the table. Now there's also some metrics in here and the metrics that I like to look at are active developers. Is there anybody actually working on this project or has this project maybe gone dead and nobody's working on it? Don't forget that a lot of this stuff is open source and people can contribute to the Git repositories if they want to. I also like to look at daily active users to see 
what's happening in the trend is are the users growing are the users not growing and um, who's what people are using most along then with obviously the more business financials the earnings fees revenues pfps ratios and the total locked value so for business fundamentals token terminal is an amazing place to go to do a little bit more of your own research and as you see in there i've done all of that without even logging in so go and have a look at token terminal and tell me in the comments below what you think of it as a tool if you like this video do give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos